the general's description of your tactics have been 100% accurate today. Very impressive, even by my standards. This is Film Masters. On this episode, we're making the T-Series tactical droid voice effect as heard in Star Wars The Clone Wars cartoon series, as well as Rebels. Now, one thing um, I have picked up on, obviously, the tactical droids' voices are different. They're not all the same. Now, the request came from one of our subscribers. That is uh, Kajuta. That's K-A-J-E-U-T-E-R. He's made a, a comment on our B1 Battle Droid voice effect tutorial, just requesting, could you make one for the tactical droid from Star Wars 2? So, first of all, um, I've got a quote from the cartoon, which I'll be reading um, for it. Now, one thing, when we're doing the voice for the tactical droid, um, when we normally talk, uh, we our pitch goes up and down. Uh, it sort of uh, emulates our emotion when we're talking to each other. Uh, when we're doing the uh, tactical droid voice, though, what we want to do is take the emotion out of our voice. For example, when we're talking, we want to talk like this just like that there's absolutely no emotion in it so that's one thing to think about to try and get your tactical droid voice as close as possible to sounding like a droid so let's get straight into it i'm going to come down here and select the record button i'm going to do my uh, quote from the clone wars cartoon the general's description of your tactics have been 100 percent accurate today very impressive even by my standards and I just selected the space bar in order to stop the recording. And as you can see, it selected the waveform. As always, I like to tidy up the waveform. So I'm going to select the beginning and delete it and the end. So I'm just highlighting it, holding my left mouse button down to hold it. So it's white and select delete on the keyboard. And that's going to trim it. I'm going to press play and we're going to listen in and hear what it sounds like, what we've just recorded. The general's description of your tactics have been 100% accurate today. Very impressive, even by my standards. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, increase it. So I'm going to uh, raise it up to, say, uh, 6 decibels. I'm also going to just come in here and just delete some of this space in between the sound files. I don't want to make it sound as if there's any breathing in between it, so there's no breath. Obviously, it's a robot, so let's listen in to hear what we've got now. The general's description of your tactics have been 100% accurate today. Very impressive, even by my standards. Perfect, and that's closer to what we want. Next thing, we're going to go up to effects, and we're going to come down to modulation and select flanger. So when we open it up, first of all, you'll notice the presets are set as default in the effect flanger. I'm going to drop that down and select tonal sadness, and we're going to make some changes. We're going to leave the initial delay time as 6 milliseconds, and the same with the final delay time. However, we're going to make a change to the stereo phasing. So let's change that to 200 degrees. We're going to leave the feedback at 80%. And we're going to come to the modulation rate. And we're going to make sure that's set at 3 hertz. Now once we've done that, we're going to come down to the mode and select inverted. And I'm just going to press play. And we're going to listen in to hear the changes we've made. The general's description of your tactics have been 100% accurate today. Very impressive, even by my standards. Excellent. So we've got that nice flanging happening. It's very robotic, a slight echo in the voice. I'm happy with that. Let's select apply. And it's applied straight to the waveform. Now we're going to go up to effects. We're going to come down to time and pitch and select stretch and pitch. Now the preset set at default. Let's drop that down to helium. And once we've selected that, let's come down and we're going to make some changes to the stretch and the pitch shift. So first of all, let's change the percentage to the stretch of 100% down to 85%. And then the pitch shift, we're going to change the semitones to negative 3.5. And when I'm happy with that, let's press play. Now, you'll notice there's a little toggle loop here, and it's green. Make sure yours is selected green, so that way you'll just keep on going through in a loop mode. Um, so if you're making tweaks and finer adjustments in any of your projects, you'll always keep on looping through that. So let's press play and listen in to hear what that sounds like. 
The general's description of your tactics have been 100% accurate today. Very impressive, even by my standards. The general's description of your tactics... Excellent. Now that's a little bit too fast. Maybe we can slow it down. So we're going to stretch it a little bit. Let's make the stretch up to... Uh, let's make it 100 and just listen in to hear what that sounds like. The general's description of your tactics have been 100% accurate today. Very impressive. Excellent. So I'm going to leave it as 100%. One thing you can do, obviously, if you're speaking too fast or too slow, you can come into the stretch part and adjust the percentage in order to speed it up or slow it down. We can, for example, even make it, say, 110 and listen in. The general's description of your tactics have been 100%. But as you can hear, that's a little bit too slow. So let's leave that at 100%. Select OK. And that will apply the stretch and pitch straight to our waveform. Now there's one more step I want to do. I'm going to come up to Effects. I'm going to come down to Special and select Guitar Suite. So we're going to select Guitar Suite as the default in the presets opens up at default. Let's come down and we're going to change this to Tin Can Telephony. And we're going to select that. Let's press play. The general's description of your tactics have been 100% accurate today. Very impressive, even by my standards. The general's description. And I'm happy with that. Let's select apply. And that is how we do our tactical droid voice. I'm just going to uh, increase the decibels up to three decibels. And we're going to listen in to hear what we have now created. The general's description of your tactics have been 100% accurate today. Very impressive, even by my standards. So the last thing we need to do now is go up to File, Save As. Um, we're just going to uh, call it whatever you want to call the file. I'm just going to leave it as T-Series. Um, I'm going to change the file to... Uh, let's have a look. Let's just put it into a new folder. I'm just going to go up to desktop, select save, and select OK. I'm happy with the format as wave. You can change it to MP3, but I'll leave it as wave, select OK, and it's done. And that is how we do our T-Series tactical droid from the Clone Wars cartoon series.